This is EDUC 4703, Problem in Inquiry-Based Learning. This video clip is entitled PBL in Various Settings, and this is the second of two videos in this series. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Question number one, how is PBL being implemented in each of the instances cited in this video? Question number two, what is the role of performance-based assessment giving a presentation or demonstration of your learning in each of the instances cited in this video? And number three, what roles do the teachers, instructors play in each of the instances cited in this video? Number four, how much independence do the students slash learners have in each of the instances cited in this video? This video clip and the previous one Access is a series of video clips that have been posted publicly on YouTube. These clips describe various implementations of PBL and IBL in high schools and instances of higher education in countries around the world. You're expected to view each of the clips and discuss what you have viewed. This video will also be provided as a presentation available on the UOIT Blackboard course shell from which you can click on the links. The first of the links is about PBL in Applied Sciences, specifically in Tourism, in an Austrian university, and the URL link is given on the screen. The second one is about a group of students who are exploring the concept of PBL and the process that are involved at a university setting, and they end up writing a song, and the URL is created there as well. The third of these clips is about PBL processes in Stenden University in the Netherlands, and you can see the link on the screen. And finally, on this slide anyways, making a working kinetic sculpture is another example of PBL IBL that's given, and you can see the link on the screen there as well. The next slide deals with IBL in a number of different settings. So the first link is about IBL in physics and science, and this is actually a TED Talk that is provided here and the URL link is provided on the screen. The next is Fugoflix, an example of elementary IBL and the link is given on the screen. Next one is IBL with Lego, Lego blocks, building blocks and you can see the link there on the screen as well. And finally, fourth clip on this slide is uh, using technology in early childhood classrooms and you can see the link on this slide as well. The theory is again the same as it was in the previous video clip. Read the following articles, problem-based learning, a paradise shift or a passing fad, and the link is then given on the screen, and introduction to inquiry-based learning, and the URL is given on the screen as well. That brings us to the synthesis questions for this video clip, and the synthesis questions are as follows. Number one, why are there more examples of project-based learning compared to the number of problem-based learning examples? And why does there seem to be more intervention by the teacher instructor in some instances cited in these videos as compared to other instances? And what might be the impact of greater intervention on the learning achieved? And number three, can you detect a relationship between the need to cover specific content and the amount of freedom given to learners to develop their own solutions to the problems? If so, what is the nature of the relationship and why might that relationship exist? And that brings us to the end of the synthesis questions and the end of this video clip.